Today, I will explain you how to handle negative reviews about your products or services and how to see this as an opportunity instead of a threat. Hey you, ciao Katban. Welcome to Mika's Marketing Mind. My name is Mika and I am filming this video in our house in Da Nang, Vietnam. An issue that every one of us is dealing with on a regular basis. Oh my God, somebody has just written negative feedback about our product on our Facebook page. What shall we do about this? A bad review about your product or service is a great opportunity to show that you care about your customer's satisfaction. It's good to know that a satisfied customer will speak about his experience to three other people on average. An unsatisfied customer will tell his story to at least 10 other persons. You want to avoid this, of course. You want to turn this unsatisfied customer into a satisfied one. So how are we going to handle this negative feedback on your Facebook fan page, on your own website, on Google, booking sites, other social media. Don't delete the negative feedback. It isn't possible at all that all of your customers are satisfied about your product or service. Negative feedback increases your company's credibility. Secondly, don't react defensively. Don't come up with excuses. Never be impolite. Whatever this unhappy customer has written or said about your company, always stay respectful. Third point, take this negative feedback as an opportunity to learn from your customer how to improve your company's critical points and how to adjust and optimize your customer service. Don't wait too long to answer this negative feedback. You definitely want to avoid that other online readers have read the negative comment before you. Number four, show understanding for the inconvenience that has happened to your customer. Show your gratitude and write, thank you for sending us this message and for giving us the chance to find a solution for you. Number five, apologize. If you agree or not with your customer's review, you can write, we are sorry that we didn't meet your expectations. Thank you for giving us the chance to turn this unhappy experience into a happy one. When you start communicating with this unsatisfied customer on your Facebook fan page, uh, Google, your own website and so on, try to take it offline. You don't want other online readers to get involved in this discussion. So write a message to this unhappy customer Please send us your email address or your telephone number and we will get back to you as soon as possible to offer you a solution. Lastly, you are going to offer two solutions to this unhappy customer. You are going to give him the freedom to choose between two different options. That will make him even more satisfied at the end of this story. Give him, for example, the choice between a gift or a reduction. The choice between free shipping for his next order or a free meal for his next visit. Make sure that this customer doesn't feel that the solution is being forced upon him. The end of this story 
story is that maybe your unhappy customer will have turned into a happy one and maybe he will even have become an ambassador for your company, spreading the word about how you listened to him, cared for him and offered him a solution. Thank you for watching Mika's Marketing Mind. Please share your love for me and my videos on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram and please subscribe to this channel via the button down below this video. Thank you, see you soon. Hang up like.